G'day, Scott here from Scott's Car Stuff. As you can hear, it's raining again. Uh, it's a bit too wet to get any of the cars out today and do some work on the Brumby or, or one of the other cars. So what I decided I'd do today is, uh, is a job I've been putting off for a while, which is I've got to do a bit of work, throw away some wheels and tyres, and I just wanted to talk about old wheels and tyres, really, just for your information. If you're interested, watch it. If you're not, listen anyway. So what I've got here is a couple of old 13 inch wheels and tyres came off a little old van. What, I took them off because I wasn't really happy about the rust around here, around the bolt holes in particular, as you can see there, they're pretty nasty. Uh, when you look at the back of the wheel, because like all of these like old retro style vans, they've been sitting for a long time these are a really early Holden wheel. Uh, <coughs> they've got the Holden stud pattern. Uh, yeah, you can see it's got the lugs for the hubcap to go on. So these, this little van was probably sitting around for decades. Uh, the other thing is the tyres. So this is a Federal tyre, you can see there. Um, this tyre, just looking to see if I can find where it was made. I suspect that this is an Australian made tyre, which then tells me that it's very old. So you can see there's some damage, uh, perishing and cracking in the side wall of the tyre. That's bad. That wouldn't pass a uh, roadworthy. Uh, in, in our state, we call that a pink slip. So it wouldn't pass that. Uh, the wheels themselves are pretty nasty, so uh, I'm just going to pull the tyres off these, throw the wheel away, dispose of the tyre appropriately. And the other thing I've got is some uh, a, another Holden wheel and tyre, a bit of 14 inch one, and one that I've, I've disposing of, again going to pull the the wheel, the tyre off the wheel and and dispose of the tyre properly. This one has got a couple of other issues with it in in my opinion. Um, you can see, uh, particularly on the back side of this one, I think there's some uh, cracking in the side wall, which is bad. Just looking at the tread, you can see that the tread is the tyre is very old. And I'll talk about something about tyre age. How do you figure that out? This one, I even suspect, looking at this here, that this is a retread, which is, with the price of imported tyres now, it's not really a thing anymore. When people don't retread car tyres. Uh, so it's not something we do anymore. But what it does tell me is that the, that the retread was done at some stage, maybe in the 70s, and so the tyre's older than that. The major problem I have with this wheel is, uh, it's not terribly rusty, it, the, it was the van it was on was stored in a dry climate, but these old Holden wheels, uh, or the old Holdens, so these are 14 inch, so they're at least uh, 68 onwards, those 13 inch wheels would be prior to 1968. That said, they could be a Tirana wheel, which had a 13 inch wheel after that time, but in all likelihood, given that they're a riveted construction on the inside and not welded, like these ones are, in there, you could see the rivets on the inside on that 13 inch, then uh, I suspect they're well earlier than 1968. So a 13 inch wheel went on many Holden vehicles before that. So which brings me back to this 14 inch wheel. So these early Holdens prior to, I think it's 1971, they only had a, a 7 16 uh, wheel stud, which is about 11 millimeters. And 
they were then later upgraded to what, for example, Ford had all along a half inch wheel stud, and now uh, some vehicles have got even larger ones. The Commodore ones are 14 millimeters, I think. But what struck me about this is that the, on the surface of it, other than you know, there's a bit of paint missing, the wheel doesn't look too bad, but this, the size of this hole, so thinking that there's an 11 millimeter wheel stud to come through this hole, which I measured at uh, one of them at 16 millimeters, the, the chamfer on the inside of the hole is completely worn off. So this, this wheel is potentially unsafe in this application, you know, in any application, because the wheel nut, which is a tapered wheel nut, will go through there and touch the, the drum brake and won't actually be pulling the wheel tight. Uh, and so that, that's bad. And what I have seen is the, the wheel chattering on the hub and snapping the, or because one's loose, one nut or two nuts are loose, they can come off uh, and chattering on the remaining studs that, and snapping a stud and the whole lot coming off being quite dangerous. So my advice there is service your box trailer, caravan, whatever it is. Anyway, moving on. So this is a more modern tire. Uh, it, it's imported, it's still on a Holden wheel. You can see how different the size of the hole and the chamfer, the countersinking, if you will, on the inside of these holes is in comparison to this one where the hole is much bigger. I can get my finger in there and there's almost no taper or chamfer on the inside of the hole where this hole is smaller, only the tip of my finger really will go in there and you can see that it's it's in a much better condition. It's covered in grease because the bearings seal failed and all of the grease leaked out all over the wheel. Again, uh, in a in a uh, caravan. So th there's some information on the tire that can help you out. The first one is uh, is or the size of the tire. So. I'll spin around. Here we can see it. 185R14C. So on a caravan or a ute, you need to have a tyre that's got a certain load rating. Uh, and is a commercial tyre, commercial or light truck tyre. So that's what the C stands for. It doesn't have a... Normally you look at a tyre and it will say 185 by 70 by 14 which is the 185 is the width of the tyre, the tyre profile. Uh, the 70 is the, is the sidewall height of the profile of the tyre, if you will, people talk about. And that is a percentage. So if it says 185, 70, 14, then it's the tyre height is 70% of the tyre width. And the 14 refers to the diameter of the wheel. Uh, it has some information here, it repeats that again. It's some information here about the speed and load rating of the tyre, which it will then say as well. And L, there you go, LT light truck. Uh, it has some more information about uh, how many plies, polyester and steel. Uh, around we go. Some other manufacturing information. All right, and the key part of information here. So, how old is my tire? So there's a four digit date code stamped into all modern tires. So if your tire does not have this uh, circle with the four digit date code, then it's old, too old. It's only on one side of the tire, so you might have to look on the other side of the wheel to find it. So what it says, this one is 2916. So that is, this is week 29 of 2016. So this is for July, August, August 2016, somewhere around there. Uh, 
Uh, there's also some information about load. Here we are. It says max load single axle, 850 kilos or 1875 pounds at 450 kPa, 65 PSI maximum cold pressure. Uh, so what you will see on a light truck tire is they have a higher pressure rating, cold pressure than a passenger vehicle tire generally. Depends on the size of the tire and wheel as well. Uh, but on, on 15 and 16 inch light truck tires, they go up to quite a significant uh, pressure rating so you can check that uh, so I'm just going to clean this one up and keep it as a spare and I'm going to dispose of these other ones I was trying to read the information on the inside of this wheel. On the other wheel, I couldn't see it. 13 by 4.5, 4.5 inches, 13 inches. I think it says 015 slash 58, Holden 22. So they're genuine Holden wheels. Uh, so 58, I believe would be 1958, the year of manufacture. Cool. Just a quick moment of interest. So, 1958, five inches wide. Standard Holden wheel, five inches wide. And that aftermarket one, ROH wheels, we still make wheels today, six inches wide. So, it's a pity that one's damaged, but it's not safe so we can't use it. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, hopefully I'll have something a little more interesting next week. If you like it, comment. If you know some more about the wheels, uh, say something as well. Put a comment there and say that you know they're off uh, uh, FJ Holden. So 58 is pretty early. Uh, 48, of course, was when the first Holden rolled off the assembly line, Australian made Holden. So. They're pretty old wheels, you know, 60 something years old. 
uh, and still rolling around on the road. Not successfully, mind you, but still rolling around. Don't forget to turn off the compressor or you have to come back later and do it. <laughs>